Russian adult films. The most controversial and weird thing you can find online. Movie uh, genre, watching which you can get depressed and wonder about the meaning of existence. The hidden part of the internet that you'd rather not to know about. Today we'll look as much as possible at examples and find out what communist sex looked like. So, everything as usual started in the SSSR. There was no sex. People were busy building communism, and new children came into their own and went straight to the factory. There were only two kinds of love. Love for the party and love for the great leader. We'll talk about this next time. If this video gets enough likes, Click here, it's free, just like communism. There was no sex, which meant there was no adult either. Also, there was no equipment for filming or watching. The VCR was as expensive as an apartment. Literally! You could have come to Moscow and exchanged your VCR for a house. Предлагали акции какого-то металлургического комбината, ну я не дурак, взял видео, магнитофон. Пап, коробка прикольная, можно я ее возьму? В школу буду с ней ходить. Эти свой дипломат отдам. С коробкой я на работу ходить буду. But the Gulag Entertainment Center was hungry for new happy guests. So the party had to find a way out of this situation. From this day forward, put everyone in jail for five years. The picture counts too. It's a video with a very low frame rate. And the sound, and the text, and any subject matter. There is a piece of soul reminiscent of tuk. And in general, is immoral. Which means that everything that is immoral is <laughs> There, comrade farted desecrating the USSR. Arrest him! I mean... Execute! This is how all the statues in St. Petersburg became pornography. The word book, fart and other actions. I'm not joking! Even museum exhibits have been officially banned. Because of this, it became a wild crime to write the word anywhere in public. It was very entertaining for opposition citizens and became a separate kind of underground activity. That is why all vertical surfaces were covered with this word. Write hui in the comments. We're also kind of in the underground. In short, you could go to the Gulag for five years for everything. Oh, and for something like that, for sure. But none of this mattered, because in the SSSR there was a banya everywhere. And inside the bathhouse was a strategic tool type hole in the wall. It covered all the needs of the suffering population without the purchase of cassettes. But that too could have desecrated the USSR. Afterwards it turned out that if it desecrates the USSR, then it turns out that it is already desecrated. So the USSR began to desecrate itself every second, entered a cycle and exploded. The funniest time in the erotic life of Russia began. The end of the ages. Cool. was suddenly available to watch, and the famous XXX shelves appeared in the video stores. The laws didn't change, just that no one cared. The most popular and the only film in the USSR was Emmanuel. It is the story of the married girl in a foreign country where she... and also... and in general... and just... <sighs> It was the only erotic movie at the time, and it was watched by everyone. The sun from there became one of the most famous, and everyone knew it, even if they didn't admit it. Na 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 Yes, in the late 80s everyone was watching it. But in the mid 80s they still put people in the gulag for it. So a man in 84 could go to a jail for 3 years for a found Emmanuel tape. In 86 you could already buy it legally in the store. 
Almost. And the inmate was still in jail for that every same movie! <laughs> Anyway, citizens learned what sex was all about. But one movie wasn't enough. And then the comrades got carried away. Magazines, movies, shows, newspapers, everything was just stuffed to the top with corn. If you were a Slavic kid back then, you saw everything. Your door was covered with posters and corn stickers from the gum pack. You had a mug with a woman who was undressing when heated, cardboard milk caps that had to be leaked for reaction, a screensaver on your phone with a naked lady. The last page of all the newspapers was reserved for ads for specific services with a demo, and the kiosks were littered with magazines, newspapers, and condoms. Something like that. It wasn't enough. There was a show on TV in the afternoon about sex with everything you could catch. At night it was sex and the city, and after midnight it was just corn. Almost on every channel. Ugh. Every citizen was just stuffed with it like... Like... Like a Thanksgiving turkey, yeah. And that wasn't enough. It was around the time that cameras appeared and it became possible to shoot Con. on your own, so you could stuff more all over the place. The comrades realized that they could make money on it and the first recordings appeared in the country. They looked like this. Oh my god. I had to watch it. A Soviet apartment with carpets on the wall. Zina, a convenience store cashier, is sitting in the kitchen, peeling potatoes. Unshaven carpenter Gennady comes in. What? You peel potatoes? Da, peeling potatoes. Are there any chicken eggs? Yes, I bought some at the market. That's great. Yeah. Are they expensive? No, the seller made a discount. After 15 minutes of such Tarantino dialogue, the action changes. Two tired comrades start ineptly grabbing each other's comrades' asses, crowding around and erotically saying, Ugh, boy. It was the kind of sexy prologue. At this time, the TV is reporting on the successes of the party. The scene is drowned out by a neighbor's drill and the barking of the panicked dog. A grandmother who has lived in the next room for 30 years called an ambulance, thinking the neighbors have had a synchronized heart attack. If by this point the viewer has not yet atrophied the desire to breathe, the two seals move on to action. For 25 minutes the panting, sweaty comrades try to figure out how to get their pants off. Then the main action begins. Since there was no sex in the SSSR, it is already clear why they have to improvise. It looks like the comrades are sticking together and trying to unstick. Or fighting. To avoid embarrassment, they could drink vodka. In the middle of the process, the camera would drop and only a dirty gas stove would become visible. If the battery didn't die. It could all be filmed by another man, but then he would start giggling and making fun of those involved, losing the frame. As a result, these art house movies about the struggles of Soviet life were brought to the local market and tried to be sold along with cucumbers and old radios. For whom this was filmed is not clear. Women were not chosen by their beauty, but by their agreeableness, the men were chosen by the presence of a video camera. The citizens themselves didn't watch what was filmed. After all, pirated cassettes of German films were sold in the markets. Yes, German films. They were considered to be quality, strong and durable like BMWs. Arrest him! 20 years later, the internet came along and that weird scary time of unshaven fat asses was over. Now the comrade could simply google the magic spell. Cool. Download free, no registration, no SMS. Download the file like young student girl found a part-time job that X and get a full screen viral banner. Your butt is caught red-handed. It's the police. Pay 1000 rubles. The gulag is on its way. Then the citizen asks someone to remove the crap that appeared by itself and goes back to the old cassettes hidden in the garage. 
Meanwhile, the younger generation started running around school with 3GP videos at recess and showing each other 3 pixels. That's how meme videos went viral all over the country. Two of them, to be exact, Student Day and something about two girls with something like a cup. I'm not sure I want to know what it's about. Cool. Cup was still a few years away, the story went around the country that if you watch this stuff you'll grow hair on your palms, but that is another story. That is the hard fate of Russian cool. fellas. And that's all for today. My name is Mark, subscribe, comment and like if you want more videos on the subject. And see you next time. Bye.